Hey folks, Nathan here from Star Wars Beyond the Films and Cloud City Casino, a Star Wars gaming podcast, both of which you can find over at StarWarsReport.com, bringing a look at new Star Wars Legion materials as they are released. This is the Star Wars Legion Rebel Pathfinders Unit Expansion, released alongside the Jin Urso Commander Expansion. It's a $25 expansion that brings the Rebel Pathfinders in for the Rebel side. We, of course, have our little component list and everything over here. We have a total of six minis. I actually really like what they did with this one. So we have our unit leader, typically, you know, kind of the leader type pose. But for the heavy weapon upgrades, rather than just being a regular old trooper with a different weapon, they actually gave us two characters out of Rogue One. They gave us Bistan and Pow as the alternate sculpts here. With, of course, the upgrade cards. There's your unit card right there. Then we have three just regular Pathfinders, all basically with sniper rifle looking weapons here. One crouching, two of them looking down the sights, just using different eyes. The rest of our upgrade cards here are environmental gear, overwatch, fragmentation grenade. Two that are the same as in Jyn Erso, which are comms relay and duck and cover. And then one that's double-sided, like with Jyn Erso, except a different weapon. We have the A300 short range configuration, short range. And you have the A300 long range configuration, which is kind of cool, uh, which can only be used in either configuration by Rebel Pathfinders. And then, of course, we have our tokens, our order token marking this as special forces, our aim, dodge, and standby tokens, three suppression, one panic, one ion token, and our proof of purchase. So if you want to add in a new unit, and really kind of a cool one, especially in terms of the sculpts there with Biston and Pow, I'm really impressed by that. Then you can now add Rebel Pathfinders to your Rebel Army for 25 bucks or maybe less online for Legion.